Hi guys, in this quick tutorial we'll learn how to install WordPress locally on your Windows machine. Sometimes you want to experiment with uh, different uh, technologies and you might want to um, get WordPress up and running on your local machine. That way you can experiment, you don't have to worry about your site being accessible to outside world, you don't have to pay for hosting and so forth. Really great to learn, for example, WordPress. Um, before it used to be really hard to get WordPress up and running on Windows. There were a lot of different ways to do it and none of them were really easy. But nowadays, thanks to Docker, a technology that allows for virtualization like technology on Windows and other operating systems, we can get up and running really, really quick. So first you need uh, Docker installed on Windows and make sure you have Windows 10 Professional or Enterprise. If you have Windows 10 Home, you can buy, you know, legal and, um, you know, official Windows keys on eBay from reputable sellers. You know, sometimes they just have OEM keys or they have, you know, volume discounts, whatever. You can get really affordable Windows keys from reputable sellers on eBay. And once you have Microsoft Windows 10 Professional, you can install Docker. Just click here, save it, run the file and install it. I'm not going to do that because I already have Docker installed. I'm just going to uh, here, you know, show you that it, once installed, you can run it from here from your start menu. Just click Docker desktop. After that, after a while, there'll be some animation here in this icon, but once animation is stopped and you hover your mouse over the icon and you see Docker desktop is running, after that, you are good to go. That's it pretty much. You're, you know, you're ready to get started. So here, in order to install Windows, uh, Windows, WordPress on Windows, you need database, empty, directory and HTML empty directory and a docker dash compose dot yml file that's it you don't really need anything else you don't even have to go and fetch WordPress nothing and if you look at the docker compose file it's like this so basically this file tells Docker to install WordPress container and install MariaDB, a database container, and connect them together. That's it. You can just copy paste the file from the link below. That's it. Next, we need to go to Docker, click on settings. Wait a little bit, obviously, because nothing is ever fast enough. Right. And here you can click on resources and file sharing. Uh, due to security features, you have to add database and HTML directories here. So if I remove mine, you can just click plus and then add database directory and then add HTML directory, so it's like this. Database and HTML directories are added. And that's it. After that, you have to click apply and restart. Um, I clicked cancel and just close the window because that's already, you know, th this configuration already exists in my Docker. That's it. After that, you're almost, almost done. Next, you have to edit your host file so that's a little bit more maybe complicated but uh, you know editing host files allows you to have multiple uh, multiple wordpress installations running um, and so forth there is just lots of good stuff so let's see how that works you just have to go to your start menu type cmd right click on this icon select run as administrator agree say yes and then paste this into the terminal click enter and here you can see i have added a lot of cool domains here 
basically you need to create a new line type one two seven zero dot zero zero dot one this is basically IP address of your local machine and then you can come up with any kind of domain you want so I uh, rock dot local for example so anytime you will try to input this uh, address into your browser it will actually go to this IP address which is your local machine that's it and uh, yeah after that we can close this and come back to our directory yeah now we're ready to go we just have to make sure that docker uh, icon is there it's running and that's it now we can go back to command prompt and we can enter this path you see it's uh, d drive dropbox directory code subdirectory and directory vp test in that uh, code directory so we go there uh, it's d d i think right and then dropbox box code vp test aha why don't you want to go there uh, i'm not used to to be honest not used to windows my main machine is usually uh, something else like mac dropbox there we go finally so uh, you know mac uses different path uh, scheme so it's a bit annoying to switch to windows once you actually learn how to do it in linux and in mac and then here we be test like this okay finally so yeah that was that was a hassle so now here are our files uh, file and directories so now we can just type docker compose up there we go in background actually two containers are created think of them as kind of like virtual machines so no you know for example now the uh, MariaDB which is a database um, server application it's now you know being initialized and so forth it looks very fancy right so much cool text uh, but basically nothing is actually added or configured in your Windows machine just two kind of like virtual like machines are created for WordPress and one for database and they are now set up and everything is ready to go now we can use domain we created irock.local and we just need to make sure that we use correct port so here if you I'm gonna open this file docker compose here um, you see here it's 8080 that means that uh, WordPress will run on port 80 so uh, that way you can just click I, uh, you can just type I rock dot local into your browser and uh, yeah you are greeted with the WordPress installation screen after that just proceed give your site a name I'm gonna write test not really good with imagination and I'm gonna create admin and admin um, password and admin username this is probably the worst thing you can ever do just create a real username and use you know password suggested to you by WordPress if you are ever going to move this site anywhere else outside your own machine uh-huh test example.com uh, just you know put here your own email address and boom click install right now you can log in admin admin and that's it now you have a WordPress installation running on your local machine Windows machine and uh, now if you want to for example 
edit um, you know themes if you want to create your own theme if you want to see how it works all wordpress files are located now in this html directory and database files are located in database folder here but you don't have to touch those and that's it it's all good and dandy and you can install plugins you can install themes you can update stuff you know do pretty much anything you would do otherwise on you know on a normal wordpress install uh, obviously obviously when you're not playing around or not you know do anything with wordpress you don't need uh, to have these containers up and running so you can just hold control and press c and this will actually terminate containers so they don't take uh, you know they don't take up any kind of resources from your computer such as memory and uh, cpu time and uh, in order to you know get back to it you just have to write again docker compose up and that's it it will again start you know wordpress and MariaDB containers but you don't have to obviously install wordpress again and so forth it will be as if you know you never turned uh, you know off uh, containers you can continue from there so that's it very easy very simple and once you actually you know had your fun with wordpress or you created a real website that you want to push to production um, you can actually push using uh, docker or you can just install some plugin um, to back up your whole website and restore backup in a production environment in real hosting but this is how easy it is to get up and running in windows 10 professional using docker and just a little bit of time i will have links to tutorials regarding this subject and to actual docker compose file so you can get up and running with wordpress in no time on your windows machine Thank you very much. Hopefully it was useful. Take care.